Hello everyone, welcome to Study Automation. In this video, I'll explain how we can use Amazon DynamoDB using AWS CLI, command line interface. So here, if you see about DynamoDB, it's a basically serverless, no SQL, fully managed database with single digit millisecond performance at any scale. We It can handle more than trillions request per day and can support peak time as well. So we have, uh, you have to just see about the free Dynamo, uh, AWS DynamoDB on free trial. Always you will get free 25 GB of storage per month, 25 provisioned write capacity units per month and 25 provisioned read capacity units per month. So this is very important just to note that this Amazon DynamoDB is free for 25 GB storage and then 25 provisioned while creating the table you can provision how many you know uh, request capacity per month you wanted to use. So it's saying 25 that you can use and it's free in that case. So let's start here. First we can log into Amazon, uh, log into console, AWS console and then we'll see further. So here I have already logged in using my admin user account and here we have to search Dynamo, Dynamo, Dynamo DB and then we can see tables, right? You can just click on tables and here I have created one test table but similarly you can do also right so we either we have one option is I can click here create table will give table name then we have to give partition partition key and after that you have to just choose how many provision read request and write request capacity you want right so we are saying five request for read and five request for write at a time we need and then just we can click create table so same thing we will do through command line interface and then we will see further things so let's go here in our command prompt I'll say just open CMD and here in this one we just need to write so let's see first how we can list all the tables which is available in DynamoDB so I'll write AWS Dynamo db and then list tables aws dynamo db list hyphen tables it will list all the tables available under the account so always make sure that whenever you are running aws command your aws should be configured right you should use aws configure and then you have to try I have already explained how to configure AWS CLI in previous video just go and watch that so now here we have we are saying AWS DynamoDB list table it will list the tables right now it's saying only test table available now if I want to describe about this table right I wanted to see what all things available in this table we have AWS DynamoDB describe table and then hyphen hyphen table name and then you can write the table name I'll say test table so it will describe all the fields which is available inside that so it's saying table name is I mean this is table attribute we have ID which is a string type table name is table a schema is ID and key type is hash table status is active and provisioned through output right so we can see read unit is only one write unit is only one so remember we have 25 read and write capacity available per month after that if you will use you have to pay so now let me show you how to create table which is for that we have to we have here command if you see right we are we are, I, I'm I'm using here cap so if you see somewhere I mean you will see right backward slash but backward slash in window will not work so you have to use cap 
if you are using window operating system you have to use cap for multiple tables so now here we have command aws dynamo db create table in the next line we are saying table name should be test table 2 attribute definition here we have attribute name id equal to this and attribute type we are saying a string type since and then we have a schema is i attribute id and then its type of hash so we can have more than one field as as well here so we can paste it and then i'll say next is name it's also a type of a string then we have to add a schema as well for that field so i'll say name and then you have to write type equal to range for other field we have to write type equal to range let's copy it and paste it in command prompt click enter so ideally we should remove this here from here right let me try again remove this we don't need further lines copy paste enter so now table is created and if we just see right here it's saying the table name and everything is created or already now and if we want to check we can just say aws dynamo db and then we can say list list tables so now you can see we have two tables test and then table 2 test table and test table 2 so we have first is list table then second one is to create table then we have delete table so we can also delete using delete table command and let's say i'll just copy here just wanted to delete one table so suppose i want to delete test table i'll say table name is test table click enter table is deleting now deleted if i just check again list table i can see only we have one table available now next thing that we have is describe table if you want to see the details about table you can see you can use describe table command i'll paste it here and we have to change the name i'll say test table 2 it will tell us all the things about this table for example how many attributes we have a schema and everything even if i'll go here in dynamo db just refresh it you will see we have one table if you open it and then just right now nothing is there i'll just click on explore tables so we don't have any data here right nothing is there so we need to first and make entry in that table and then we will see so for that we can use aws dynamo db put item method and then we will use table name is table name to item where i have id and it's a, a string type and here we are passing value one name we are passing some name here so make sure that whenever you are putting here right id and name it should match with the attribute id that you have given while creating the table so i'll just copy from here and let's go and put it click enter now if you are not getting anything that means data is inserted so i'll go here again in dynamo and then what you can do let me make it a small view yeah so uh, you can just click on tables again open it and then click explore table and once you click explore table you can just click on run and then in this case you can see here one item is inserted id1 and item name is item name 
one record we have inserted from command line interface CMD similarly you can insert many more data right since it's a multi line so we can edit here only let's say I'll say two and then here I'll say a study automation let's copy again and I'll put enter so one more record inserted I'll just go here and run it we can see these two records available here now if you need to you know get all the data then you have to use a scan command we have AWS DynamoDB scan command you can just copy and paste here AWS DynamoDB scan and now you can see we have these two items available item 1 item 2 so this is how we can use directly with you using a scan command and we have query command also that you can use so in query command you have to provide table name key condition that is ID and here you have to pass the ID name so it will match with ID 1 and then you will get only that particular record so I'll just copy here and paste it in this one click enter so query command is fast faster than a scan command and so you will get here required information the only problem with query command is you can't get all the data in one go so select all you will not get if you want select all you should use a scan command similarly we have delete so if you want to delete some item you just use DynamoDB delete item provide table name and here you have to pass key which key you want to delete and similarly we have update command that you can also update any existing record for that you have to use update item table name then key condition along with that you have to provide expression right which field you want to update and then for example name you want to update and then what is the value that you want to update for name I'll use a small and then the value that you wanted to update and then return right whatever thing you updated here this is how we can update the table thank you so much for watching the video